When it comes to building your sales and landing pages, the main goal of them should be conversions. Yeah, you can make them look good if you want, but ultimately the goal should be conversions. And I see far often people don't put enough effort on the conversion elements within their sales and landing pages. And within Thrive Architect, we've always taken pride in adding new features and improving our existing features to give them an even stronger conversion focus. In this video, I'm going to show you the new improvements we made to our button element within Thrive Architect. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how you can implement these new changes on your website. This is Colin from Thrive Things, back with another tutorial video. And in this one here, I'm gonna get right into it here within Thrive Architect. And for this one here, I have pulled up a smart landing page and you can pull up any of our landing page templates to use the button feature, but we're gonna go over some things that are actually exclusive to the new smart landing pages within Thrive Architect. What we're gonna get started here is actually kind of deconstructing this page and what we're gonna do with it. Now, a good rule of thumb when it comes to being consistent in conversions is what I call the Amazon effect. And the Amazon effect is how they treat their buttons. If you go anywhere on amazon.com, it could be Prime, could be products, it doesn't matter. What's the same? The buttons. Every single time they have that yellowish gold kind of color with the same font. And this is a very good practice to follow, not just from e-commerce or in that standpoint, but for your courses, coaching, or your lead gen offers. And we break this down here, we have a button at the very top for booking your free consultation call. As we go down, this is just a, basically someone would send traffic to this page for to acquire coaching clients or service clients for their service-based business. So let's go down a little more and we have two. Okay, so let's say here, I want one more. There's kind of a lot of gap between the first button up here and the one at the bottom. I'm gonna go right in the middle here and add in another button. So right below these bullet points here, you could kind of put a little bit of copy about what your service is or what they can expect from the free call. And I wanna just go to the add element tab and search for button. So to add it in here, I'm going to click and drag. Perfect. Our button feature is the same. Not a lot has changed. We just added some additional incredible features that make it easier to, for you to make better looking buttons and match them to your landing pages. Once you have the button element selected here, you can go to the style here and under style options, I select this. And now we have 34 new buttons. Yes, 34 brand new buttons that you can choose from. We have very simple ones like this you see here. And we have ones that also include different hover effects, icons and many different features. So this is a huge upgrade we just made to our standard button element. First step I'm gonna take here is actually changing the text of the button to match the rest of the call to actions. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Let me go up here, take that text. And to change the text for the buttons, you simply just highlight it here and I'm going to replace it like that. And one thing here, once we have this text done, is if I go back up to the button, so I did that via the breadcrumbs. Anytime you're in the button or anything within Architect, remember, always use the breadcrumbs to navigate up and down. And I'm gonna go up here to the button, and what we added here now is I can cycle through different buttons, but the text will remain the same. Go here, see how it looks. And this is great if you're trying to pick a new button or build a button from scratch. You don't have to worry about you know, having to copy and paste the text and see how it looks, you can just cycle through it button by button. What I wanna do next is pick a button with an icon. Our well, button we're using up here at the top has this phone icon on the right-hand side. Here I want to select, we'll go with this one here. So we'll click that and apply. Let's take a look at that here. So the button changed here as you can see, and a couple features I wanna point out that we added. Now you can easily move the icon. So here the button by default on the left-hand side one click right here, there it is, simple as that. And I also wanna put in another feature we added. You can have secondary button text appear just like this. So if I wanted to add this here, we could have a second call to action. For this case, we're not gonna have it, but if you wanted to have a second tagline or a subheadline, you can easily toggle it on or off like that. The next step I wanna take here is matching the icon. Up here at the top, we're using this phone icon that is facing to the left-hand side. So let's go down and change ours. In order to do this, I need to actually select the icon itself. So I need to go one level deeper, and right here we can change that icon. What I'm gonna do is search for a phone, and let's do the phone here facing to the left-hand side. We'll select that, there we go. So we're using the exact same icon for Font Awesome, loaded in here. Now I wanna go do one more tweak to this. 
As we can see, this button isn't matching the color, it's blue. And like I said earlier, we wanna have the Amazon effect. We wanna match the buttons, the color, and the text. In order to do that, we have one more step. As you can see here, this has this orange and the kind of white text here. What I have to do is select the button and up here under the style panel again, you're going to notice there's something called template styles. And this feature is only available within these smart landing pages. So this isn't gonna be for our legacy ones, but all of our ones with the smart technology will have this. And what this is going to do is inherit all the styles, just like it says, the template style. And I'm going to select this and here we have the book your free consultation is bolded, has the same hover effect and the same size. So now our buttons are all matching just like that. So in a few tweaks, you're able to cycle through the buttons, pick the text, you could make these whatever you wanted, but we were able to, without having to tweak with the color, copy and paste, or even look at our color palette, we were able to just do one click, matches everything. And of course, the button we just added is going to behave perfectly on tablet and mobile devices as well. Let's take a look. Here on tablet, we have the same size as the button above and the button at the bottom here. And the same is going to be for the smaller mobile devices. So there you have it. That is the simplest way that you can make and add a new button onto your landing pages, sales pages, or even things like webinar registration pages. I can't stress enough the importance of having these simple conversion focused elements dialed in. You don't want to have a blue button when the rest of your buttons to book a call with you are orange or red. Keep that in mind. This also works really well if you have consistent branding color. You don't have to always be changing things back and forth and having to keep your color code saved in Google Docs and things like that. You can easily just use your template colors and inherit one using the smart landing pages. The conversion focused element of this page is having consistent buttons. We just wanted to add one more in. When it comes to building anything within Thrive Architect, we always want to build things that have the conversion focused lens so it helps you grow your business. And this feature here with the buttons is no exception. So if you are brand new here to Thrive Themes or Thrive Architect, make sure to go to thrivethemes.com slash architect and get your copy today. And if you're new here to the channel, subscribe. We're gonna have tons of new tutorials, tips, tricks, and everything you can think of for our products and online business here on the channel. And leave a comment down below. I'm always reading the comments, replying, and having conversations down there. That's how I get new video ideas and interact with everyone here watching the videos. So until next time, thanks for watching.